So you're ready to buy a house, but you don't have a real estate agent yet. And many people think that you have to go with the first agent at an open house or a family friend referral, but really you can go around, interview a few agents, ask them a couple questions and see what agent would align and click with you in regards of the process of buying a house. So how do you interview an agent? Here are some questions that you can ask a potential agent. Where do you live and what area is your expertise? Now this is very important because I have heard many horror stories about buyers who end up having an agent who lives three hours away from the home that they're potentially buying. This can cause a lot of problems, especially if you may need to get into a potential home, tour it, or you're in contract and you need to go and have a last minute appointment with your future home and they're three hours away. This can be a big problem. Another problem is you may hire this agent and they may not be familiar with the surroundings of where you're trying to purchase. This can lead to a lot of downfalls, especially when you're looking for certain type of qualifications within a home. Another question is, what is the best way to contact you? Is the agent better at emailing? Are they better at text messages? Are they better at direct phone calls? Now this is important because what type of person do you communicate? And this is important. So if you find yourself very busy at work and you can only email, will that agent be able to check their emails quickly and respond to you as fast as possible? Or do you prefer just to text? If you find yourself very busy with work and day-to-day -day activities, then texting might work better for you. So you wanna make sure that agent also texts messages. Or are you that person that needs to just pick up the phone, talk to your agent, get all your questions answered as quickly as possible? Now you need to make sure that agent is always ready available to answer that phone call whenever you need it. Another question is, are you a full-time agent or a part-time agent? This is important because if they are only a part-time agent, they may not be available whenever you need them to be. So if that is important to you, make sure that your agent is a full-time agent. Another question is, will I be working directly with you or with an assistant or another agent on the team? So some, some buyers end up finding themselves interviewing an agent and then that agent who might be a leader of their team ends up passing along them to someone on their team or someone within their office. Knowing this is very important because especially if you had the desires to work with that particular agent and not someone else on their team or in their office, knowing and understanding that if it's okay to be passed along or if you want to work with them directly. Another great question is, what do you cover during a buyer's consultation? Now, many agents treat the buyer's consultation differently. They may jump right into questions about the type of home that you want, or it's more of an educational walkthrough on the process of purchasing a house. Asking those questions so that way you can be ready in regards to that appointment. Another great question is, do you have resources to help me during this process of buying a house? Now, buying a house is like running a marathon. Now, you need to have the greatest coach that will provide great materials to help you guide you in each step of the process of buying. That way you can look over it, read and educate yourself during that time and it will help you make sure that you're on the same page as the agent and you're understanding what is happening. Another question I hear is how many years have you been in real estate? Now this is very different. Years does not connect with experience as far as a real estate agent. The more proper question is, is how many families and individuals have you helped buy a house? And the reason that may be is an agent can have their license for 10 years and maybe help one or two families or individuals a year. Now it's better to ask how many people they helped within the last six months or the last year because laws and the market is constantly changing. 
you need an agent who is on top of it and knows everything that is moving along and changing so quickly in this market to help you purchase your next house. I hope these questions help you in regards to hiring your real estate agent.